Hello and welcome everybody. Adam the Silly Host is here and this is Chicken Police. This is a new game that I just got and uh, let's figure it out. <laughs> what is that? My FPS is over 2600. <laughs> How is that possible? <laughs> oh dear, anyway. <laughs> game. This is my very first time, so let's check out what can we do. Okay. Settings look okay. Time, time, time Santino Featherland and Time Santino. can't even change it okay so I mean that's like beyond horrible but uh, anyway yeah, I think I'm good continue can't continue options there because well let's start a new game game one oh these are just save options so uh, let's do this out to get a pack of cigarettes but I left my wallet at home <laughs> no. yeah that's me I'm getting old no, the my feeling. name is Sonny Sonny Featherland <laughs> an investigator for 20 years and once the star of the predatory division of the Clawville Police Department See one me. half of the legendary <laughs> chicken police <laughs> but buying a pack of smokes is more than i can handle right now <laughs> maybe i should just lay low yeah i'll do that the most colorful place in the wilderness uh-huh for all the gods what bullshit the last clucking color left this city years ago and slowly i'll turn gray too Chicken police. Still, what do I expect? I am. <laughs> We're living in a vast experiment and don't even notice that everything got clucked up a long time ago. We believe in this wonderland of peaceful coexistence wolves and sheep. Chickens and hounds. Yeah, yeah. these stars. <laughs> sure, why not? It's just ridiculous. The dog eats the chicken. It's in our nature. The dog eats chicken. I'm not propping up the illusion anymore. Can't 121 days, and it's over. Retirement. It's like a typical call. What could possibly they are all go wrong? Dream about retirement. <laughs> Nine hundred forty-five. That's a curious date. Hello. Ah, oh, crap! My office lock is a piece of shit. If a dame can pick it, <laughs> she stood in the darkness. 
The light painted stripes on her body. It whispered secret little things that were never there in the first place. But she was no zebra. Reality was just a light switch away. Elizabeth or Charlotte? I was sure she'd have a sophisticated sounding name. She had a bygone look in her eyes, older than this ancient building, and perhaps the whole city itself. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I'm just drunk. But she was the first womanly thing in my place for a long time, so I had to give her a chance. <laughs> oh, oh, cock. <laughs> so... So I could talk to her? I can check on stuff. Ah, good to know. Okay. Pile of papers. Cheap whiskey, of course. Oh, typewriter. Pictures. Cabinet. Light switch. The wilderness. I guess that's the city. Bedroom door. Oh, so office bedroom together. Okay. <laughs> This place is messy. Anyway, let's... Uh, what was that? N? People. Places. Codex. She can put the famous detective duo. Marty Mexican. <laughs> Sunny. Well, I hope that he won't go near motorway tool booths. <laughs> uh, oh, I actually can enlarge it. That's nice. Independent city state for more than 900 years. Well, okay. There were many independent city-states throughout our history. Not over 900 years. Yeah, not many live to see. That kind of day. You can read it, I mean. And stats. Questioning points. Scenes. Greenhorn. Um, if I am a greenhorn, why is it red colored? <laughs> anyway, what was the other M? It doesn't work. Inventory it doesn't work either. So anyway, let's see what the lady would like to speak, look, question, ask. Uh, I am asking a question. Let's look. Who is this dame, anyway? And what the cluck is she doing in my apartment on New Year's Eve? So that wasn't so much of a look, so... Speak. Let me introduce myself. My name is Deborah. Miss Deborah Ibanez. She's cute. Oh, wait. What should I press? Enter. <laughs> Oh, this is getting somewhere. Wait. That's better. Now, if I understand correctly, your mistress is receiving threats. What kind of threats, exactly? So, if... Oh, so I don't... Uh... So, this is the part where the interrogation comes. Like in those detective movies. Something like that, Deborah. Oh, okay. Yes. The controls are uh, not straightforward, I have to say. Or any space? No, not even that. I mean, so I, uh, I, ha I have so to manually click every single time. So, this is the part where the time. interrogation comes. Like in those detective movies. 
Something like that, Deborah. Yes. Oh, yes, yes. Wait, I actually have to, like... I'm seriously, this is like... So... Focus on what you want, huh? Is your shit to John Doe? Uh, she just said that she's Deborah. Or wait, did this might be just a tutorial? I'm suspicious. Why are you suspicious? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Impression, suspicious. Question, so many options. Blah blah blah. I like that. Plus. I must be cautious and smart. This dame seems shy, which I can use to my advantage. But I must be careful about what I say to her, or I can scare her off. Let's start gently, and when the time comes, we can go in hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, usually the people do like eat it like that. <laughs> First gently, then hard. <laughs> Ah, okay, Deborah Ibanez. Well, I don't really have many options here, so... Okay, and I can't click anything here, so... Impressions shy. I don't know, she looks like... I don't really see any expression on her face. I guess that's because that's a random animal photo or something that they manipulate... Man... Man... Blah, 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 blah that they manipulated but anyway let's see how her face changes when I do this who exactly are you ma'am yeah and I would love to press space or enter to so I don't have to come here with the mouse because this is like I'm, wasting time. I'm not somebody important mr. Featherland it's awful well, maybe you are not important, but you look nice. You're important enough to deal with such a delicate matter. I carry out the wishes of my employer, nothing more. This means simple paperwork, most of the time. So you are a secretary, accountant, or...? You've been thrown into assistant. deep water, sweetheart. Tell me, can you even swim? Uh, I guess she's an antelope, and I, as far as I know, they can swim. Believe me. This is just as unpleasant for me as it is for you, if not even more. Oh, more? Uh, doubtful. New impressions. Okay, too much information. So, what can we do here? You are not very confident. Are you sure you are alright? Tell me, which part of the city do you live in? Calavera Hills or Flowerville, maybe? So why is this one like moving around? What does that mean? Is that mean that I should ask that? Or is that a hard question and she just bolts to the door? Like I am a lion or something, but Oh <laughs> no, that's because the cursor is on it. <laughs> Try to ease her in. You're not very confident. Are you sure you're all right? Yes. Excuse me. I'm just a bit nervous. I've never done anything like this before. Mm, first time, eh? Breaking into the apartments of strangers isn't that big a deal. Some people do it as a hobby. <laughs> That's an interesting hobby. Please don't make fun of me, Mr. Featherland. This is hard for me as it is. Oh, I don't think so. You're right. Sorry. Tell me, what's your star, star sign? Did you come alone all by yourself? <gasps> Why would I ask her for her star sign? Did you come alone? All by yourself? I took the subway, then the tram, and then I walked. 
It wasn't easy to find this place, and to be honest, I had to be discreet. Yeah, well, I think I'm starting to get the picture. Yeah, she's really dressed discreet. <laughs> this is quite unpleasant for me. Where are you born? Why did you come to visit me? Why not your employers? That's, uh... Were you born and raised in Clawville? Why do you ask? Well, why couldn't I ask? <laughs> I couldn't think of anything better. Oh, this is horrible writing. Well, I'm not from around here. I'm from Grassmore. Maybe you could hear I have a slight accent. Do you know where it is? Uh, I don't really hear an accent in her voice. Although, well, this is a fictional game, so... <laughs> where what is? Grassmore, of course. You just asked. Oh, that. Don't worry about it. I'm not interested. Wh why would you... S why would somebody say something like that? I mean, you just ask something and you say that you are not interested. I mean, am I controlling this game? Huh. Do you like to play with other animals? Oh, yeah. Oh, for the wild ones. Am I that transparent? <laughs> yeah. I'm afraid so. Well, I'm a little rusty, it seems. Uh, let's change the subject, shall we? Oh, yes, please. Oh, that sounds rude. Ah, uh, okay, I'm starting to understand. So when I ask something stupid, or rather, when the game thinks that I ask something stupid, then it goes negative. And when I ask something good, then it goes positive. So let's try to play along. Which I, I, I don't really like, because I think that the game's point should be that uh, you can do freely whatever you want, but... <laughs> It seems that it really wants to push you into a direction because so far, if I have something that is unrelated, or I was thought about uh, let's ease her into things to ask something nice things, then it turned out something totally rude. So, why did you come to visit me? Why not your employer herself? That's a good question. My employer is Miss Natasha Katsenko. <laughs> she hasn't been leaving her home lately. Only if she really has to. Oh, I know that feeling. Especially during this pandemic times. <laughs> How so? New person. Miss Natasha is afraid. She's scared because of those unwanted messages. And everyone knows who she is. I don't. So, she's that kind of woman. Oh, that's really presumptuous. I don't know what you mean. Well, I do, and it's Of awful. course you do, Deborah. Thank you, by the way. We're finally getting somewhere. I mean, this chicken is kind of a... <coughs> hole. We avoided the point long enough. Deborah's hiding something, no question. Let's focus on that. Now, this feels like they want to control me. They are like telling me that you know what you have to press next time. Don't you dare press anything else or something like that. This game is a bit too controlling. What do I expect for, for 25 bucks? <laughs> no, what was it? 15, 15. Anyway, uh, okay, we are going positive again. Did you expect by communicating? Yeah, I'm sure it's not intentional, but are you toying with me? Ooh, what do you want from me? How did you get this address? Um, I guess. Um, I mean, this, the first and the third is like the same. This is just rude. <laughs> How did you, uh, yeah, I, I want to know that, but uh, I'm afraid that she wouldn't really answer to that, or that would be, again, mine, so, ah, uh, whatever. I'm sure oh, it's no, not, not intentional, not. but, uh, oh. are you toying with me? Oh. I wanted to press the first. Damn it. 
I'm not sure I understand you, Mr. Featherland. Oh, that's a good idea. I mean, Cut the crap, Deborah. Oh. You're a pretty smart girl, and you can't hide that no matter how hard you try. But ever since we've been talking, I couldn't force one single straight answer out of you. I'm starting to think I'm terrible at what I do. Yeah, probably you I'm are. sorry, Mr. Featherland, you're right. I'll try to be more straightforward next time. Well, maybe my mistake paid off. I appreciate that, ma'am. Oh, no. Yeah, we went back to the... <laughs> I can't think of the guy. Let's pretend we were never found it. Are you in some sort of jam? Nothing of the sort. There are simply things better left unsaid. Well, that makes my job harder. Then you're wasting my time. Oh, don't be so rude. I trust your instincts. You'll manage it. Yeah, and I have no other choice, right? To be honest, no, Mr. Featherland. Not really. Okay, have you... I truly will never, don't you think this whole thing is really suspicious? It feels like I, I, I can't uh, ask good questions. Don't you think this whole thing is a little suspicious? Look, Santino. I'll explain everything. Oh, now I'm Santino. Wow. I have no doubt about that. You look just the type, sweetheart. No offense. <laughs> yeah, when people say no offense, usually that's the really offending part. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Or maybe I'll act like I haven't heard it. Whatever fits you. You see, we're starting to understand each other. Wow. What is this game rated? <laughs> Anyway, why should I believe you at all? If you won't come clean, what's the point? Um, if you won't come clean, what's the point of all this? But, Mr. Featherland... I'm sorry, sweetheart, but I'm way too... Please, just think again. For me and my mistress's sake. Minus 40. Okay. My problem is that when I ask a question, it doesn't indicate that it's something negative, but uh, then in the conversation it turns into negative. So, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I really don't Tell like me, that. Tell me, Deborah, why should I believe you at all? Because my mistress trusts you. Oh, she doesn't even know me. Should that be enough? If you really like what she thinks you are, then yes. Damn, what can I say to that? Yes? Look, I didn't mean to back you up against the wall. Oh, but you would love to. You have a way with words, sweetheart. Did you ever want to be a cop? She definitely has cuffs. <laughs> no, not for the world. Fingers. <laughs> Smart answer. you are so afraid of well again I be honest and anything. tell me what you're so afraid of <clears throat> you know mr. Featherland my mistress's partner is Hobart Wessler or as most people know him Ibn Wessler the kingpin Ooh. does it supposed to mean something exactly that's a rat so a rat and the cat. Hmm. Feathery gods, help me. <laughs> Feathery god. So you get it now. The secrecy. Oh yeah, cat and mouse. To put it mildly, I think I understand it all. Wessler. This little piece of the puzzle changes everything. Yeah, part of me wants to retry it because uh, 
Yeah, let's retry it. I... I must be cautious and smart. This dame seems shy, which I can use to my advantage. But I must be careful about what I say to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who exactly are you, ma'am? Um, You're important. I can't You've been thro believe me. Tell me, which part of the city do you live in? Calavera Hills? Flowerville, maybe? Look, I... I don't want to answer that. Fair point, Deborah. Let's try a different approach. Oh, it actually went up. So it's interesting that sometimes you ask a, a bad question and it goes up and goes down, so... Why did you have to visit me this particular evening? I have my reasons. I may look like a silly little fawn, oh, and maybe I am, but I still have common sense. I don't doubt that for a second, Miss Ibanez. Ibanez? Isn't that Ibanez? No, it's not like I could speak Spanish. I'm pretty sure that's not Ibanez. Anyway. This day is essential to my mistress, and she thought it's also important to you. Why? A message in itself, for sure. But to be honest... You know what? I'll just take that as a compliment, even if it wasn't meant as such. Mm, yeah, that was a bad question. Why did you come to visit me? Why not your employer herself? My employer is Miss Natasha Katsenko. She hasn't been leaving her home lately. Only How so? Miss Natasha is afraid. She's scared. So she's that kind of woman. Rude again. I don't know what you mean. Of course you do, Deborah. Thank you, by the way. We avoided the point long enough. Deborah's. What do you want from me? Me? Oh, don't be silly, Deborah. I mean your employer. I was just talking to myself out loud. Well, Miss Katsenko thinks you're a great detective, and you're also reliable. Ooh. That's why I came. I am blushing. Did she also give you the lockpick? <laughs> Probably not. Please, could you let this go? I'm really embarrassed. Oh, keep blushing. Sorry, sweetheart, I'm just teasing you. As soon as I saw you, you were forgiven. <sighs> Damn, dude. That's... that's very nice of you. It has nothing to do with being nice, Deborah, but you're welcome. Yep. Uh... Why don't you remember? Don't you think this whole thing is a- Look, Santino. I'll explain everything. Again. Suddenly why I am Santino and not Mr. Federer? I have no doubt something. about that. You look just the type, sweetheart. No offense. I'll take that as a compliment. You see, we're starting to understand. Tell me, Deborah. Because my should that be enough? If you really like what she thinks you are. Damn. What can I say? Look, I didn't mean to back. You have a way with what? No, not the. Eh. Yeah. Smart answer. Wow, I'm actually doing great. Be honest and tell me what you're so afraid of. You know, Mr. Featherland, my Miss Ibn West. Exactly. Yeah, Feathery. So you get it now. To put it mildly, I think. Yeah, so, uh, good questions, bad questions, yeah, significant other, I still don't really understand why can't you call that girlfriend or boyfriend, 
Is this some kind of new thing? I don't know. I have to Google that. Why girlfriend and boyfriend turn into significant other? Anyway, I am pretty good with that. So let's let's see. So what can we do now? What's this? Century. So the city state colonized uh, a country? Interesting. <laughs> Wild one. Holy Trinity. Oh, I don't care about the people. Clues. I wanted to travel the world when I was a kid, but I think I'm gonna end up dead in here whether I like it or not. Yeah, that's great. Behind that door lies the kingdom of dirty clothes, cigarette butts, and empty bottles. You should clean after yourself sometimes. She doesn't seem so dangerous that I need to grab my gun, but you never know. My last cigarette. <laughs> You're lucky I don't have a light, pal. <laughs> my wallet and my badge. The wallet is real. The badge ain't. Well, Chief Bloodboil took mine. So I got this one out of a pack of cornflakes. Just in case. Uh-huh. Okay, so we have some stuff. Uh, let's see the pictures. The Wild Gentleman. Those guys rebuilt the city after the great fire of 867. My heroes when I was a little chick. I'm starting <laughs> to think they should have left Clawville as it was. Burned to the ground. Yeah, but can I look at the... It's like a wolf. Maybe a rat, or whatever. We used to be star cops a few years ago. Tabloid press, radio interviews, and even a book series. I don't miss those days. Of course, Marty, my old partner, would disagree. He just loved the spotlight. This is... Uh, this is one of the most beautiful memories from my old life. Before Molly left uh. me and took our daughter. Shoo. So you had a wife and a kid. What's that? That's a parrot. Huh. The good things in life don't last long. True. The best ones always leave first. Mm -hmm. I saw that in the window of a shoe store. I never understood it. Or what it had to do with shoes. <laughs> M.B. Davis, the eternal king of jazz. The photo is from the days of jazz prohibition. What? I only heard the old man live one time, but I'll never forget that night. And not only because I woke up at the harbor without my gun, my badge, and my pants. <laughs> I promised myself I'd write a novel one day. Me too. But I actually did. I don't even know what these papers are. No, I don't want to call anybody. I need a secretary. Uh, no, you just need to. I don't even know where the key is. Whatever's inside is going to stay there forever. <laughs> oh, this guy has his shoes. Whoa. Well, I actually 
actually kicked out of the game. <laughs> Books I'm never gonna read. Maybe nobody ever has. That's a shame. Anyway. Legs that go on for days. Deep, dark eyes. Silky skin and voice. You're in big trouble, pal. Oh yeah, I know I am. <laughs> it does look nice, I have to admit. Why don't you take it to the police? Just go there and file a report. Photos, flashing lights, fingerprints, you know the drill. The evidence is very clear. Even a moderately talented detective could easily wrap this case up. Or just try the phone. Triple five, triple one. I should memorize that. Please, take a look at this. Well, okay. Let's see. Look at what? Don't you want to look at it? The message I gave you. Yeah, of course, Deborah. It... Uh... I know Molly very well. Please note this when deciding whether or not to accept my assignment. Miss Ibanez is a trusted friend. Treat her as gentleman. <laughs> and Okay. I haven't dusted you off in a while, partner. Looks like I may be needing you now. Ironic, but ever since I've been on furlough, with only my fake badge sitting in my cabinet, I feel more like a cop than I ever had before. <laughs> more like a Clawville cop, anyway. <laughs> I felt like I'd been hit on the back of my head with a blackjack. Reality tilted. Molly. Good gods. What was her name doing there? I glanced at the opposite wall with the well-worn picture frames. Like an eternally dark hole in the wall. A missing piece. Mr. Featherland? Santino, are you all right? What the hell is this supposed to mean? I don't know anything, Mr. Santino. My mistress told me to give this to you. She said you'd understand. Oh, of course I understand, Miss Ibanez. I get it very well. But this case is becoming more and more confusing. True. It's starting to look like blackmail. Mm -hmm. Blackmail? Don't play innocent with me. But... All right. When can I visit? Visit? Me? Not you. Miss Katsenko. <laughs> me. <laughs> oh, yes. You can find her at the Czar Club. Didn't you tell me she's not the social kind? That she's especially unsociable? Or does she only like loud and crowded clubs? No, she's really not like that. But... She owns the place. Whoa, lucky cat. Judging by the flyer, it must be a very busy club, especially on New Year's Eve, right? I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding Miss Katsenko, but there's one small problem, Mr. Featherland. Like always. Let me guess. Mr. Wessler better not know about my visit. Exactly. How did you know? <laughs> He's a detective. 20 years experience, ma'am. Oh, and please, call me Sunny. Well, she called you Sunny like at least two times. It was a pleasure to meet you, Mr. I mean, Sunny. I'll talk about the rest with Ms. Katsenko in person. A good friend of mine would be happy to take you home if you'd like. I'd appreciate that, Sunny. Oh, so Molly's the wife. Who is Luis? An old friend of mine. Stop it serving cups <laughs> oh, anyway. so what could we do 
legs that go on for days. Oh, yeah, I know that. Thank you again, Mr. Feather. I mean, Sunny. Don't mention it, Deborah. I had no other plans for today, except drink. <laughs> but tell me, do you have a light? I'm sorry, I, I don't smoke. Good girl. Don't ever smoke. Thought so. So... How do I know what to do next? Just a phone call and a good friend of mine can take you home. Okay. Now my problem is that if I have to keep on doing conversation, then why can't I just keep going? Why do I have to get out of the conversation and click to get back to it? That doesn't really make much sense. Thank you, Sunny. Just a phone call and a good friend of mine can take you home. Thank you, Sunny. Ah, uh, okay. No. Okay, I got it. I have to make the phone call. People. Grab it. Uh, does it have a phone number? Uh, it, 555 five, 932 five, or 1 uh, The creators Ah, oh, wait Ah, okay <laughs> Okay, that makes sense 555932 five, five, Oh, yeah, yeah I mean, my memory is not great But I can still remember So Pick up uh, what was that? <laughs> Just joking. Five, 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 nine, three, two. I haven't used a phone like this for like 20 years or so. Hey, Lewis. Am I bothering you? Always. <laughs> no, 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 of course not, Sonny. Old friend, what's up? Could you come over? I've got a favor to ask if you're not busy. For you, anything. Just a minute. Lewis arrived a few minutes later. He lived in the rooms above, so it wasn't difficult getting here. Not to mention that he's a rabbit. It was a quick hop. <laughs> the Atlas Hotel was his inheritance. It was once a well-renowned place, but not anymore. The last economic crisis ruined it. And now, besides me, he was the only resident of this enormous place. Oh, I would love to live in a place like that. I mean, in a sense that there wouldn't be more people around. Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> oh, anyway. Uh, so, um, let's, let's see. The good old rabbit. I can always count on him, even on New Year's Eve. Of course. Thanks for being so quick, Lewis. Can you drive Miss Ibanez home? I have some things to take care of. Okay, wait a second. The rabbit? He's not a servant, he's a hotel owner. And the cop? Who lives in the hotel owned by the rabbit gives orders to the what? Of course, Sonny. <clears throat> you know anything for you. Thank you <laughs> for being so considerate, Sonny. I appreciate it. Don't mention it. Goodbye then. Bye bye. So long, Deborah. Before I visit the club, I have to take a detour. I've got a feeling that this case isn't going to be a one-man job. And there's only one bird in this city I can trust. My ex-partner, Marty. He's going to be at the station. I can only hope he'll be willing to talk to me. Uh, yeah. Let me make sure of that. So, what's this? Let me see this one. Is that Limited scenes are open for consideration. Mystery information for all of them before. Uh huh. Okay. 
kind of be rage for the time being. Pick the next main scene if you are absolutely sure you don't want to visit any of the available limited. Ah, okay, now that's good to know. So I always have to do the limited scenes before I progress the main scene. Okay, thank you. Now this is useful information. So... Yeah, can I do anything else? I mean, it's zooming in, so... I can't press anything. I can't seem to scroll or anything. He's not working either, so... No. It was New Year's Eve, and I was driving, half drunk, risking my whole life's work. But still, it didn't feel any different. Every day was the same. Nice. And the 121 days I had left till my retirement seemed like an eternity. When I look out the window of the hotel room I call home, Why would the I see the same thing every day. Like that. A woman in a red nightgown dances slowly in circles to smooth music. Ooh. The nine o'clock show with a glass of cheap bourbon and the red gown with the silent music. In the meantime, the proud city of Clawville is slowly eating itself alive. And we're still here, with nothing left to lose but our sanity, while others, the smart ones, had already gone. Molly. Does her name really upset me this much? All those years of solitude, and I still jump without question every time I hear it. And then there's Marty, my ex-partner, who after hates her? me. I mean... But I know I have to speak with him, no matter what. Why do I feel like the past is watching me it's like this guy's on this goddamn this night? Decisions. Detour. Now, well, let's see what do we get here. I knew where to find Marty. At the station, we'd always draw straws about holiday duty. Marty never joined in. He always took the New Year's Eve shift, even though he had someone to go home to. I understood. He's lucky. Ten years ago, we survived the night the press called the Bloody New Year. Forgotten by Clawville, but not by us. Phyllis. Poster. Oh, let's start here. Phyllis and Roy's. <coughs> Two hedgehogs with an arrogance typical of novice cops. They're as prickly as they look. Officious little <laughs> shitheads, but harmless. <laughs> okay. Wait, they are cops? Well, look at that. Hey, Sonny. What you scratching out over here? I heard the big boss threw you out. The accents. I mean, they are like a typical uh, mafia or detective movie. <laughs> <laughs> they are good, 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 good. <laughs> Tough luck, boys. I may not be on duty, but I'm still a cop, just like you. Well, more than you. <laughs> hey, you don't have to be so peckish, old bud. By the way, you're on luck. Blood boils not in tonight. The lawyer's in charge. Oh, God. That clumsy buffalo is here tonight. If he doesn't end up in a cell again, he's lucky. <laughs> you got it. You looking for Marty, eh? I see you're still the brains around here, Phyllis. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for Marty. Birds of a feather flock together. <laughs> yeah. I see you're still the funny guy around here. You'll find the giant feather duster at the shooting range. As always. Ooh, can we shoot? Hey, Royce. I'm telling you this because maybe you'll be able to understand. If this prickly shithead makes another racist remark, I'll strangle him with his own raincoat. <laughs> I'd love to see that. Mm, I don't. Hey, whose side are you on, you jerk? <laughs> Figure is poster. 
before the crown, before the king. Oh, is it, it, is this a kingdom? No. Every time this poster disappears, good old Blood Boil puts it right back immediately. I tore it down at least three times already. <laughs> Actually, it's a kind of passive aggressive game for us with the chief. We need you, citizens, sir. Protect. So it's a kingdom? A city state kingdom? All right, I can live with that. Uh, let's check this Back in the out. day, I used to patrol the city streets in one of these. I don't miss it, but it used to have its advantages. If you say so. Okay, so it seems that I don't have anything else. What? This happened when that old bloodhound, Bloodboil, was promoted to chief of police. The Castilia clan thought this would frighten the old hound, oh. but they were so wrong. Retaliation came the next morning. Raids on four warehouses, a dozen bad guys dead, and twice as many busted. No, I just realized that they are telling more stories. Nobody messed with old Blood Boil after that. Or Chief Marrowbone, as they call him around here. Could have been fixed up ages ago, but it was the chief's explicit demand not to. They can say a lot of things about the old hound, but he's got a sense of drama for sure. Could have been fixed up ages ago, but could have been fixed up. Okay. If you drive a cop car in Clawville, you can do almost anything you want. Until you've got the red and blue on, nobody asks a damn thing. Maybe that's why cops are the biggest gangsters around here. <laughs> if you drive a cop... Okay, so I can... <clears throat> I'm sure it's Blood Boil himself taping back the torn off posters, like some maniac. <laughs> he must have a dozen of those things in his bag for emergencies. I'm sure it's Blood Boil... Okay. And that should be all. Let's... Here we are again, Clawville Police Department. I've never been good at history, but if I'm not mistaken, this place has been a church, a hospital, and even some insane cult's secret hideout over the years. Anyway, the place holds the secrets of the ages. <laughs> and some <It's>... drunk <laughs> Okay, so what do we... Shooting range. Okay, I can go there, but not now. Honor, strength, unity. <laughs> For the love of the wild gods, I'm gonna be sick. We used one of these as target practice once. Not out of disrespect. We were just too damn drunk. We used one of these as target. <laughs> <Boscarelli. laughs> oh, I love Sir much. Mort. Marty drinks this shit. I've never tried it, but I'm pretty sure it's gross and probably toxic. Today is not the day I'm going to try this. For me, nothing beats the iron flavored, turbid tap water. Today is not the day. Monica Rosen, receptionist in theory, but in reality, she's doing literally everything around here. Like the beating heart of the PD. She's too good for this place, even for this city. Hmm. Hey, Monica. Hey, Boss Bird. What are you doing here? Oh, Shouldn't you be nice celebrating choice. somewhere? Every day's a holiday since I got out of here. I can tell, but what are you doing here? Are you here for a file? You know, I'm a little busy right now. Yeah, you could look after a few things for me, but first, I'd like to talk to Mr. Big Beak McChicken himself. Those two prickly assholes told me he's empty. Like always. And if he carries on like that, he's gonna use up all our ammo. So it would be <laughs> nice if you drag him out of there. You know how this day is for him. <laughs> for him? You know I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, I know. Okay. So just sign here and you're good to go. Thank you, darling. Don't mention it, Boss Bird.
Hey, Sonny, is everything all right? Sure, everything. That's nice. <laughs> Jeez, Mon, don't read some. That was one of yours, actually. From the old Sonny. I try not to. We can't erase the past because we are the past art. Stop that right there. Okay, okay. I'm just joking. Mort Mardigan, a notorious deadbeat. Poor guy's been blind since his teenage years. But that doesn't stop him from running into trouble. What the cluck did he do this time? Mort, you scabbiest beast. What the hell did you do? It's Morty to you, sonny boy. Everything's fine. There was just a bit of trouble in the bar, and uh, someone got knocked on the head with a glass. It wasn't my fault. I'm as blind as a bat, am I right? <laughs> Did that ever bother you, Morty? Listen, sonny boy. Go tell them to leave me alone, eh? It's New Year's Eve, after all, and I didn't even do anything wrong. Where's your little lapdog to get you out of this mess? Is that little pimp of a midget still sniffing around you? Uh, Jeffy is a good boy, Sonny. And he's good to me, believe me. Oh, God, spare me the details. When will you finally realize that little shit's been using you? Oh, of course he's using me. <laughs> what could a pretty boy like him want from this old monster? Eh? Still... Even you deserve better, pal. By the way, you look horrible, even for yourself. Are you feeling... Well, I'm not what I used to be. <laughs> but neither are you, judging from your voice. But I'm seeing a doctor, sonny boy. I really am. Don't need to, Mort. I'm fine. Anyway, if Bubo prescribed you something, don't even think <laughs> about taking it. Uh, uh, this game was made by Hungarians and in Hungary there is a, a nice childhood cartoon of mine where a doctor named Bubo uh, was the main protagonist uh, and he was an owl and uh, in this game they just put uh, in an owl called Bubo <laughs> It's nice. Uh, I don't talk to that insane yeah, owl. Exactly. <laughs> Damn right. Please, say something on my behalf, okay? I really don't have time for this detective buffalo. Hey, careful <laughs> with that. Buffalo Malloy is the chief today. <laughs> like I care. I'll try to speak for you, <laughs> but keep it down till then, okay? Sonny boy. <laughs> More like a clucking pigeon. Detective Chow Hound Bosco. He thinks he's a real alpha, but nah, he's just a lapdog. Uh, let's see what he has to say about that. Holy wild ones, look what the cat dragged in. Hello to you too, Bosco. I see you're busy as always. Eh, I've been sniffing around one of the rundown joints. You know how it goes. And boom, this son of a lizard comes flying out the window. I didn't know the lizards could fly. <laughs> so, Mort was being a bad, bad boy again. Nothing unusual. And you? Still dying? I'm still a cop <laughs> for another 121 days, Bosco. It's as unpleasant to me as it is to you. All right, all right. No need to bite. I wasn't trying to mess with you. You have Moses and Plato for that. And of course, blood boil. Let's hope I won't run into any of them tonight. Looking for Marty, eh? Ever since you left, he's kind of lost. He's trying to hide it, but he's not the same bird. Well, I don't think we'll have a teary reunion, thinking about how we parted. Let me give you some advice, Sonny. Let him rage. He'll be the same after that. Anyway, he was the one that shot you, right? You should be mad, not him. It's not that simple, Bosco. But we'll see how he reacts. Thanks anyway. No worries, pal. Seems like a nice guy. One of Blood Boil's favorites. Mainly because he's a dog, of course. One of Blood Boil's favorite. Officer Jardine. 
They say she's clever, smart, and dangerous. Well, she's a lady. We need more of her kind in here. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yeah, definitely. So, what else could we do? Uh, let's... All it takes is one look, and my comb starts to tingle, which never means anything good. Let's get closer. Oh, sorry for hitting the mic. It's a lion, a stork. Yes. Okay, let's go to the shooting range. This is gonna be a hard ride. Last time we saw each other, he had a smoking gun in his hand and I was bleeding. I don't know how we can get past that, but it's worth a try. It sounds interesting, but... I switch hard. So, uh, before we do that, I would like to stop this episode here. Uh, it's over an hour now and I would like to uh, upload about one hour episode so if you like this video then look out for the next part in the meantime thank you for watching if you like this video then please like share subscribe you know the drill thank you everybody for being here goodbye